What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to model roofs in Revit. Uh, actually I'm going to be showing you how to model 23 different types of roofs in Revit. I've done a similar video a very long time ago and it was very successful. I just showed you how to model 10 types of roofs so I thought well why not expand that and make a new and improved video on this topic so well that's that's what we're doing today and I'm going to be showing you everything step by step so you can master uh, all sorts of different roofs in Revit. Uh, now before we jump into that tutorial I would like to encourage you to check out my website BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the cards above. There actually when it comes to roofs I have a whole course on roofs where I cover uh, all sorts of different roofs but also how to create complex types of roofs, uh, all sorts of kind of interesting designs and going much more in depth and exploring the the roof tool and also all possible workflows. Uh, it's I think it's like seven hours long or something like that so it's uh, uh, really a lot of time invested in just showing you all of the possibilities when it comes to the roof tool. And of course I have many different courses uh, for beginners, intermediate level users as well as advanced level users so there is something pretty much for everybody on that website. Also there you can find uh, my customized Revit templates, you can find some really high quality uh, Revit families and also a plugin. Make sure to like this video, it really helps me out a lot and make sure to subscribe, not only does it help you not miss any of my future videos, but also it makes the alpaca happy and let's be honest, that's why we're all here. Okay, now let's jump into Revit and here we are. So as you can see, I have laid out uh, some uh, walls here and I have just named all of the roofs that we're going to be modeling, just to make it kind of easy and kind of to categorize everything and just keep it as, uh, as a single file. I think it's going to be a, a good approach. So without any further ado, let's start off with our first roof and that is going to be the shed roof that we have here. So what I'm going to do here uh, is just go to the uh, roof by footprint. So this is on the architecture tab on the build panel we have the roof by footprint. Uh, and here Revit is going to ask us and this happens usually when you're in the 3D view or something like that. Uh, would you uh, like to create the roof uh, on the second level because it's currently uh, the kind of the host level or the active work plane is level one and obviously you want it to be on the upper level. So it's going to ask you, do you want to move it to level two? I'm just going to say yes. And now we're modeling that level, that roof on level two. You can see the same thing here under uh, the uh, properties tab. Under the base level, you can see that here we have either a level one or level two as an option. I'm just going to leave it at level two. Okay, so for the shed roof, uh, what I like to do uh, when it comes to pretty much all roofs is to use the uh, pick walls command wherever I can use it. In this case, obviously I can use it. And then here in the modify tab, just here on this bar below, uh, we have the option of define slope. So any line that we create can define a slope. I'm just going to uncheck this because it only makes sense when you have um, uh, perhaps different types of roofs. For this one in particular, uh, I'm just going to leave it checked off. And then also we have the overhang, which is also something that's important, that the overhang of the roof. Uh, by default here, it's set at 70, just because that's the previous setting that they've used. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I'm perfectly, uh, perfectly happy with that. Okay, so uh, having done that, uh, also here you have extend uh, in to wall core. This makes sense more for different types of roofs, uh, like the flat roof, I'm going to be going into that a bit later on. So for now, let's just leave it like this. So you just come here to the wall uh, and then you just, uh, as you can see, the line can either go to the outside or the inside. So you just come from the outside, so it goes to the outside and you click. You do the same thing here, here and here and then you just hit the escape key a few times. You select one of these. So this is basically going to be the, the lowest uh, line of this roof, of this shed roof, uh, or the lowest side. And then here we wanna check the fines roof slope. And then here you can define the slope. So by default it's at 30. I'm just going to set it to 25 degrees, hit apply. And then when I hit finish, you're going to see it's going to create that 25 degree roof. Now, while this roof is selected, you can still go here to the properties and then if this might be too steep I can go to 15 
hit apply and as you can see it's uh, a lot less steep or I can actually manually affect that see how it changes the the angle here so if you're just kind of visually doing it you can do it like that but in most cases you want to keep it at uh, at, at a certain angle that's kind of that follows either the material of the roof the cover of the roof or some regulations and rules and so on anyways the final thing to kind of finish this roof is to hover over one of the walls hit the tab key once and it's going to select the whole chain of walls you can then select that and go to attach top base and then you can just attach it to the to the roof and it's going to look like this so as you can see looks beautiful uh, also if you want this Revit project file so you can follow along with this tutorial I'm going to leave a link in the description below this video to my patreon page also up in the cards above there I upload all of my Revit project files this file will be uploaded there as well so you can get access to all of my files if you want to follow along or just explore them or use them for your own projects Anyways, let's move forward to the gable roof. So that's the, the second one. So this is probably one of the simplest roofs uh, after the shed roof. So again, I'm just going to go to the roof tool. I uh, go to the second level, click yes, uh, use the pick walls. Again, just uh, have the same settings as is. Just do this. And then before we hit finish, let's hit the escape key a few times. And now I'm going to select these two opposing sides, the, the longer ones, and I'm going to check the fine slope on both of them. And here, let's set this to 20 degrees slope, hit apply. And now the slope is defined by both of these. So uh, both of them are going to be kind of the lowest part of the roof. And then we have that gable roof. Again, you can see here we have that gap. So just make sure to select all the walls. Again, as I said, hover over one of the walls, hit the tab key once, and then you go to attach top base and you're done. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's then move to the flat roof. So the flat roof is fairly easy, fairly straightforward. So let's go uh, for the flat roof. Again, you go to the roof tool, again at level two. Again, you use the pick walls, but for the flat roof, obviously you don't want that to be, uh, do, to have an overhang. Flat roofs usually don't have overhangs. So let's set that to zero. And here you're going to extend that into the wall core. So it kind of goes into the wall a little bit. And then you can click just like that. And as you can see, it's going into the wall and uh, it's just resting on the core of that wall. So you just wanna go all the way around like that and uh, you're pretty much done and you have that flat roof. Now also what you wanna do is uh, hover over one of the walls here, hit the tab key again, and now we're not going to be attaching it, but rather we're going to be increasing the, uh, the top offset. So go here to the top offset and I'm just going to give it 100 centimeters hit apply like that because usually your walls are going to be going past that flat roof and then it makes sense perhaps to join uh, the, the, the roof to the walls if I can only select it. It can be kind of hard to select. Let's go into wireframe. Yeah, just like that. So you just join the uh, join the roof to the walls and then when I go back to hidden line see how now we have that line and then the walls have that little gap for the for the roof now if you want to learn how to add that slope and drainage points to flat roofs I'm not going to go into that now currently we're just talking about roof shapes and different roof styles I have a whole video on this topic I'm going to link it up also up in the cards above so you can check that out uh, if you want to learn more about flat roofs okay moving forward let's go to the hip roof uh, again one of the simpler types so again I'm just going to go to roof Level two, uh, I'm going to bring back the overhang here and then I'm going to check the fine slope because in this case for the hip, row, or hip roof, <laughs> uh, all of the sides will have a slope. So you just wanna do that and then again, just go all the way around and keep in mind that this little triangle indicates that this line is defining slope. So if we uncheck the fine slope, that triangle is gone. And then here you can enter a different slope if you want. I'm just going to leave it at 30 for this one. That's perfectly fine. And then I can just select all of the walls and attach them to that roof. Then we have the hip and valley roof, which is pretty much the same approach as hip roof. It just usually has a bit of a different floor plan. It's not a, a simple rectangle. It has a, a bit more complexity. It has some valleys as well. So I'm just going to go again, roof, 
level two uh use the walls and I just go all the way around like this uh yeah that's that's pretty much it so now uh, once you hit finish it's going to look like that and then you can attach these walls to that roof so uh valleys are basically these parts here where the roof kind of goes into itself I guess you can say and also you can have a combination it doesn't have to be just a, a hip roof it can be, uh, have a little bit of that gable roof at, uh, at certain parts so for example I can select it here go into edit footprint and uncheck define slope here so it's going to have that gable side here so that's just one of the options that you can use okay moving forward and there we have the uh, jer uh, Jerkin head roof, jerk, jerkin head roof. I don't know how to pronounce this correctly, so I'm sorry if I don't know some of the terminology. But anyways, again, it's a really simple, straightforward approach with a little bit of a twist. So let's go here to level two again. Uh, pick it out, pick out the sides. There we go. So we start off with a regular hip roof, but then we make an edit. So I'm just going to go back to edit footprint. I'm going to select this side hold the control key and then select this side as well so we have them both selected and then here under the properties we have the plate offset from base so what does that do well that basically brings this line up or down by a certain value in this case we want to bring it up by about 100 centimeters now when you hit apply you'll see that nothing will happen here with these lines because we're still in the sketch mode but once we hit finish you'll see that now that part of the roof starts off uh, way here above. So that's basically how you create this type of a roof. So again, let's just attach the walls, attach top base, attach them here, there we go. Okay, so we're done with the first row. So now let's continue and let's go with the M-shaped wall. So for the M-shaped wall, you can use uh, a similar approach as we used with these roofs up here in the first line or the first row, but I think it's going to be a lot simpler uh, if you were to uh, just go and use a roof by extrusion just works a lot better in this case so a roof by extrusion allows you to kind of sketch out the uh, the side or the profile of the roof and then you use that so you want to pick a plane so just let's click OK and pick this plane here and then you define that you want the roof to be at level 2 for the offset I tend to leave it at 0 and then I, I like to make some changes but you can also make a change here so let's leave it at 0 for now okay so you just come to this roof so I like to kind of find the center and then go up so basically you're defining kind of the where are the edges of this roof just like this so I like to start off perhaps with uh, something uh, something like this and then okay I know that I want the top of my one of the roofs to be here so I can go from here down at uh, down to here down to here and then go up so we're just kind of creating that M shape and then you can leave an overhang which you usually want to do so let's go like that I'm just going to make them equal at 470 obviously you can create a section or use an elevation to do this I'm just kind of trying to do this as quick as possible to keep the tutorial short but I think you get the point how you uh, create this and as you can see that's basically just hosted on that face of the wall so when you hit finish it's going to extend like this all the way too far out so you can just bring that in and there we go we have that M shaped roof so we can just kind of bring it out here a little bit bring it in here and there we go so it looks like an M uh, and then you can just select uh, the walls attach top base and attach it up here and we have our M shaped roof uh, now when you have steep roofs like this it might be the whole structure might be a bit too tall so you can actually bring that down uh, by going to the level uh, offset of that roof so if I bring it down by 100 so minus 100 hit apply the roof is just going to go down by 100 centimeters so you have that option as well okay moving forward now we have the uh, mansard roof so this is usually a combination of two roofs one is, has an extreme slope and the other one has a very kind of uh, light slope so how do we do that uh, so here let's take this floor plan actually I'm just going to increase its size just a little bit usually 
you do this on a bit of a larger floor plan okay and then you just want to go and again go to the roof tool uh, yeah let's save this project why not and then I don't want to mess it up okay let's go to level two and then again you you can use the same uh, approach where you start off uh, with just kind of picking those walls just let go like that but then what I would do is uh, give it another set of lines so now I would uncheck the fine slope give it an overhang of something like now let's go with 50 and then let's see if I can do that no it's not going to allow me to use the pick walls so let's use the pick lines and then go with 50 uncheck the fine slope and then you go to the inside like this see so we're just kind of creating a, or another set of lines on the inside. So when you do something like this, what you can do then is if I just select all of these lines, so hold the control key, select all of them, and then set the slope to something really high. So we can go with like 60 or even 70 degrees. Let's go with 70 and see what that looks like. And then when you hit apply, it's going to look like this. Okay, this might be too steep. So let's bring this down to 60 yeah this might make a bit more sense okay so once you have something that looks like this then you can either leave this top as a flat roof so just place a flat roof there or you can have uh, another roof that has like a, just a small slope so for the second roof I would go here to roof uh, again level 2 yes and in this case just use the pick lines with no offset and just want to pick these sides here just like that okay I forgot to turn on uh, the fine slope so let's turn that on and let's give it a small slope like 10 degrees hit apply hit finish and now this roof is all the way down here so the best way to bring it to its proper position would be to just go to let's go to level 2 and just run a quick section through this thing so just like that uh, and then we can just make sure we only grab this particular building Okay, and then you can just select this roof, you can go to the move tool and just move it all the way up. And there we go. So now we have that mansard roof. So it's just a combination of a couple of roofs uh, that you can bring together into one uh, mansard roof. Uh, then we have the salt box roof. So this is basically a roof where uh, you have different slopes and different elevations uh, of your uh, off your roof and it's kind of most similar to the gable roof just with kind of slight modifications so let's do that now so again just roof uh, level 2 pick walls uh, let's do the overhang again at 70 uh, define slope and then we can just go like that and then for the other two I don't want them to define slope just go like this okay so this one for example I can leave it at uh, I can leave it or actually I can leave both at 30 I just have to bring one up so let's bring this one up so I'm just going to uh, go here to plate offset so basically the same option that we've used for this one uh, we're just going to be using that here just on uh, on a gable roof so just select one of the sides uh, you give it an offset let's go with yeah let's go with 100 hit apply hit finish and then you have this Perhaps we could have added a bit more of an offset. So let's try 150. Perhaps it would look better. Yeah. And there we go. And then again, we can just attach uh, the walls to that roof. I think it did not do that here. So let's let me do that here as well. Perfect. And there we go. So we have the salt box roof. Then let's move to the sawtooth roof. So this one is uh, a, bit, a bit more complicated. So uh, the sawtooth roof uh, can be created again. In my opinion, the best option is just to go to roof by extrusion. Just go with that, uh, pick a plane, click OK, and then pick this plane here. Uh, let's do it at level two. And then basically these roofs, uh, these are usually used in a kind of uh, the industry I guess you can say so we can go like this at a slightly less steep of an angle and then go down at a steeper angle something like that and then you essentially just copy that as many times as, as it's necessary and then in this case that would just be two 
will this work? Yeah, this might be a bit too large. So I can just go here to the scale tool and then I can scale it here just to make it a bit smaller. Yeah, there we go, this will work. Uh, now I do have a, a, a bit of a more complicated tutorial on how to do the, this roof one for some kind of, uh, I guess, advanced approach to creating the sawtooth roof. So I am going to uh, link it up down in the description of this video and also up in the cards above. So I have covered some of these roofs uh, a bit more in depth, so it makes sense to check those uh, tutorials out. But anyways, uh, once we're here, once we're done with kind of adjusting this, Again, we can just select the walls, attach top base, and then attach them to the to the top. And there we go. We have the sawtooth uh, uh, sawtooth roof. Okay, uh, let's now move forward to the dropped eaves roof. So for this one, again, the roof tool level two, and then you want to go with the pick walls and give it a defined slope and also an overhang, and then you just want to apply that here and here and then you just want to uncheck the fine slope and then the whole kind of rest of the roof we're just going to do as just without defining slope so when you define the slope only here at this kind of inset uh, of these walls uh, the roof is basically going to go from here to here and then uh, obviously up and then the these two are going to be dropped. So those are going to be the dropped eaves. So that's why we call it the dropped eaves, uh, dropped eaved roof. Uh, so once we have this or dropped eaves, not eaved, I made a mistake here in the, in the name. So anyways, if I just hit finish, as you can see here, it just goes from here up and then on, this is just kind of the, the dropped part. And then obviously we just wanna attach those walls to the roof. And let me just fix this quickly because there was a mistake. Okay, moving forward, uh, let's then take a look at the butterfly roof. So this is one of my favorite roofs just because it's fun and it's uh, a little bit different, but it works perfectly fine just as any other roof. So you just model it as any other roof. Uh, so again, just pick lines and then we can go like that. So now I'm just going to go like this and select these two and check uh, define slope and then I'm going to assign a negative slope so I'm just going to say minus 15 and then hit apply click finish and as you can see it's going to look like a butterfly flying so it's kind of a negative uh, value so it goes kind of down like this and it looks really cool also I like to bring this up a little bit so I'm just going to give it a positive base offset at 50 and then just attach the walls to that roof and there we go that's the butterfly roof then we have the curved uh, roof so that's well as the name would imply it's a curved roof and for that we use the roof by extrusion so again you pick a plane and in this case I'm just going to pick this side here at level 2 that's perfectly fine and then you you can just model that as an arc so I can I actually I'm going to come in like this and just give it a 20 uh, centimeter uh, offset like this and then let's use just an arc like this now it can go straight up like this or it can be a smaller angle or uh, let's go like this and then you just want to delete those two uh, little parts at the ends. You hit finish and it's going to extrude all the way out as it tends to do. It tries to cover all of the buildings in the project. And obviously here, because we have multiple buildings, it, uh, it just doesn't look right. Uh, now here, I just want to align it properly. And if it doesn't want to snap, you can just use the align tool and just align this to that. And there we go. We can just select the walls now and attach top base there we go okay moving forward uh, we have the Cla Clara story uh, roof so the Clara story roof is actually uh, it has two roofs connected by a wall uh, so for this type of a roof what you uh, what you want to do is just perhaps first define the position of that wall so I'm just going to go here to level 2 and that's this one and then let's go to architecture, wall, uh, exterior wall, and then let's just place it here, like so. Okay, so we have that uh, we have that wall there. Perhaps it can go all the way to the edge. 
just like that okay so now what I'm going to do next is uh, and make sure it's not centered so it's a little bit offset from the center okay so what I'm going to do next is just go to the roof tool level 2 and what I really like about Revit uh, roofs is the fact that you can do pretty much <laughs> uh, most of it in the 3d view which I really like so anyways let's check the fine slope uh, let's place that here and then the rest of them I'm just going to set the overhang or leave the overhang and just uncheck the fine slope go like this uh, and then finally I am just going to uh, go and yeah we can set the define slope to here yeah I think this will work uh, okay and then you can just use the trim and extend to corner to trim it up like so and then you just hit finish and then let's attach uh, this wall to that roof here perfect okay so once we have all of this in place let's do the second roof then so again it's just roof okay uh, and let's go with the define slope here uncheck the define slope for these two and then finally just use the pick lines to position that wall uh, or to pick that face of the wall and then you just use the trim and extend to corner to kind of clean it up and here we go so that's that roof actually I'm just going to select both of them and give them a better angle let's try 20 it might look a bit nicer no let's try 25 yeah there we go and then you can actually put some windows here that kind of looks cool on the interior side but anyways let's select these walls attach top base I'm going to attach it here so then we have okay and then again attach top base to this one okay and then it's going to have that kind of correct shape and what we are uh, looking for then we have the a-frame roof so here I don't really have any walls because here most of the house is a roof so that's the kind of an a-frame house so what you want to do there is uh, just go to your level one in this case zoom in and then I'm just going to go with the roof tool uh, leave it at level 1 because this is the only one that goes to the ground because it's an A-frame roof and then you can just create a rectangle just like that and that's pretty much your house so you just want to select the sides uh, check on the fine slope and give it a steep slope so something like 60 I think will work and then if I go back to the 3d view and just hit finish there we go we have a house that's essentially uh, just a roof so that's what these a-frame houses are uh, and then you can go back to level one and then perhaps you can add some walls like this on the inside and then you can go to the 3d view select both of them attach top base and attach to the roof and there we go an a-frame roof Moving forward, uh, let's try the combination roof. So this is something similar to the mansard roof, but instead of having it steep on the outside and then uh, not so steep on the inside, uh, here it's the other way around. So uh, let me show you that. So let's go to, no, we can stay here. Go to the roof tool, level two, click yes. Uh, use an offset, obviously, and let's, let's give it a bigger offset. Let's try 100 just like so okay and then all of these are supposed to define slope and then the slope is really small something like I don't know let's go with like five degrees or eh, let's go seven uh, okay and then also you just want to use the pick lines with an offset so let's try a 50 centimeter offset and then go to the inside like that okay and then you just hit finish so you have this very not so steep roof we can perhaps increase it to 10 percent okay yeah looks perfectly fine and then we have a steeper roof on top of this so for the steeper roof again you just go to the roof tool level 2 uh, use the pick lines uh, define slope and then just pick them up all of them now this is a 30 uh, uh, degrees we can go steeper let's try 45 yeah there we go so this looks a bit more interesting and it might not fit here properly and probably doesn't see so again we have to use the same approach that we've used with the mansard roof where we go to the floor plan view and then just run a quick section through that 
roof just so we can uh, we can position it properly so you just zoom in here you go to the move tool and then you just position that to the correct place and there we go we have that roof completed then we have the cone roof so the cone roof is pretty straightforward you just go to the roof tool uh, level 2 big walls overhang we can have like a small overhang let's go with 70 as we did before and we're done so a cone roof looks pretty cool right usually I like these to be a bit steeper so let's try 45 there we go and then of course you want to attach the walls to this thing uh, I think it, again I forgot to attach the walls here so attach walls and then you're attaching it to the lower uh, roof Okay, moving forward, then we have the dome roof. So the dome roof uh, is the one that can seem a bit complicated because it doesn't work with the regular uh, slope. So for the dome, uh, we're actually not going to be modeling it as a uh, as a roof at all. So what we're going to be doing here is just go to the Insert tab, go to Load Family, and then here in your library, you want to search for Mass, and then here we have a dome mass. So we just load this one in, so we open it up, we load it in. Let's go here to Component, we should be able to uh, place it and then you can see that we cannot see it. So we cannot see it because show mass is turned off here. Now we can see it. So let's place it at level two, like so. And then we also wanna check just the diameter of this thing. So it's 300, but I think it's measuring to the center. So that probably has something a little bit more. So let's see here, uh, the radius, uh, let's try that. Let's try 320. And apply oops okay and the height again 320 okay this is starting to look correct let's go to level 2 actually just to be a bit more precise so let's move this thing to the let's find the center of this so we can do that with a just with a simple annotation line just a detail line like that and then I can select this in the center and just place it there. Perfect. And there we go. So this is the dome or roof. And then to complete it, uh, to complete it, or just to make it a bit smaller, perhaps, just go back to level two and let's do a quick measurement here from the edge of the walls to the edge of the walls here. So this is uh, 635. So I'm just going to take that number and uh, then select the dome. So for the dome, uh, just type in here. So that's 635, 635, or no, it should be half this. Okay, that's then, okay, I have to test my math skills here. That's 317.5, I think. I'm probably making a mistake here, let, let me see. Okay. There we go, okay, it was correct. Anyways, uh, so now once we have this dome mass, we obviously don't want to leave it as a mass, we want to turn it into a roof. So then here on the roof tool, we have the roof by face, uh, and then you can just select these two faces, you go to create roof, and then it creates that roof. You hit the escape key a few times, you go to massing inside, you turn off show mass, and then you have your roof. And it looks like this, so looks Pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's then move forward to the Dutch gable roof. So the Dutch gable roof is constructed actually quite similar to the uh, combination roof or the mansard roof. So basically what you wanna do for the Dutch gable uh, is you wanna start off with a regular roof. So let's do that. Let's go to architecture, roof, uh, pick, uh, pick walls, overhang at 70, perfectly fine. And then for the slope, let's do it at 25, perhaps. I think that will work pretty well. Uh, and then also, also you want to leave that gap in the middle. So again, pick lines, leave it an offset of, I don't know, like 50, or I think 50 is okay, or maybe even 70. Yeah. So you just want to go like that and leave that gap in the middle, and just make sure that the gap or the kind of the inner lines don't have a slope. So you just uncheck the fine slope, you hit finish, and there we go. So we have something that looks like this. 
and then for the second one you go again to the roof tool uh, to the pick lines pick all of these lines and for this one we just want to uncheck the slope on these two sides so you just uncheck the fine slope hit finish and it looks like this obviously we have to position it correctly so again it's that trick with creating a new section so just a new section here reduce that a little bit and then we just open it up select this go to the move tool move it in the position and that's it so we have the Dutch gable roof obviously you can come in here and you can place an additional wall so actually let me just show you I don't want to leave anything unsaid so you just want to set the wall to finish face exterior uh, and then you just come in here you hit the space key so you just hit the space key to position it on the inside and you place one wall here one wall here just like that go to the 3d view and just select those two walls attach top base and attach it to this roof and there we go and on the inside it also looks correct obviously you can reduce it on the bottom if you want so you can select it and give it a base offset of something like I don't know like 40 just to make it smaller if you want okay so we have that we have then the pyramid hip hip roof so this is just a regular hip roof on a square uh, floor plan so it just looks like a pyramid so I don't think I have to explain too much there it looks like this and then you can of course attach top base here yeah we forgot to do that here as well okay uh, then we have the uh, gambrel roof so this is something like a farmhouse roof I guess you can call it so again it's the same approach as we had here and the mansard roof but in combination with the gable roof so what does that mean well it's actually pretty simple you just go to the roof tool again let's start off as a regular roof here uncheck the slope the defined slope here and here uh, and then also you want to leave the gap in the middle so uh, in the middle you want to go with I don't know like let's go with 50 or yeah we can go with 70 I think so let's try 70 okay but here uh, what you want to do is you want to extend these here like so and then you want to get rid of this gap so we can go with split element delete inner segment and just do this and do the same thing here okay and then when you hit finish oh we have to do this as one part sorry I forgot about that so you just can you can only do one like that and then also you want to make it steeper so let's try 60 yeah 60 will work maybe even 55 this might be a bit too steep or even 50 okay so once you have this uh, roof in place you want to select it go down to level 2 and then you can just go with the mirror tool with the draw access function and just draw an access here from the midpoint of that wall like that so it's basically the same thing on both sides uh, and then you just go to the 3d view and again you create a new roof uh, just use the pick lines here uh, zero offset so here here and then you can use these edges like this one and this one and then you just use the trim and extend to complete the shape see just like that uh, and then you select these two sides you check on the fine slope and then the slope can be something uh, a bit less steep like 20 to finish and there we go and then of, co of course you just want to position that in place so just another section here let's select that section okay this video is becoming really long we're up to 40 minutes almost so sorry about the length of the video but I think it's very well worth it so anyways here we go we have completed uh, that roof and then we can just attach top base first to this roof and then attach top base to this roof and then again attach top base to this roof and then it's going to look correct uh, then we have the hexagonal roof so this is again just a hexagonal floor plan with a uh, roof on top of it so you just go like this uh, yeah of course make sure it has defined slope on all sides 
and you're done with your hexagonal roof. I'm just going to increase it a little bit to 45, just to make it look a bit nicer. There we go. And then finally, we have the uh, monitor roof. So this one is interesting. Again, this is uh, something like your uh, gable roof with a small gable roof on top of that one, if that makes sense. So let me show you. What you want to do here is, again, just start off with a simple gable roof, like so. Uh, so you just want to select these two sides, define slope. Let's go with 20, hit apply, okay. There we go. So this is what you want to start off with, but then you want to edit the footprint and add a small rectangle in the middle. So I'm just going to use pick lines with a larger offset, like let's try 150. Yeah, perfect. So something like this, you use trim and extend to make this smaller. So you make that kind of gap in the middle and then you create a new roof uh, on top of this. So again, you go to the roof tool here. I'm just going to use pick lines again with a 70 uh, or 50 centimeter offset. So I just want to offset this to the outside like that. Uh, let's try this one. There we go. You have to kind of position yourself correctly so it offsets to the correct side. There we go. And then again, you select these two sides, define slope, and I think we use 20. Uh, okay, let's cancel out of that. And we have another roof. And then you can bring it up just with the offset option. So let's bring it up at, I don't know, 200 centimeters. Yeah, there we go, that could work. And then you just have to add a set of walls. So let's first attach these walls. And then let's go to level two create a new set of walls here. So again, make sure that it's set to finish face interior or finish, sorry, finish face exterior, and then just use a rectangle and go from here to here. Perfect. You go to the 3D view, you select these walls, you go to attach top base, attach to this roof, and we're done. Not just with that roof, but we're done with all of them. So yeah, it only took us like 40 minutes, but in the end, uh, we have all uh, of these 23 roof types in Revit kind of modeled perfectly. So I really hope you've enjoyed you've enjoyed this video. If you want to get access to the whole course on roofs that they have, uh, make sure to follow the link in the description or in the cards above. And also, if you want to get the project files uh, like this one or all of my Revit project files, again, description, link above or the, the cards above. So just make sure to check it out. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.